Gateshead 2, Alfred and Town 1. And uh, it was in the Conference North today and uh, it was everything what's good about non-league football. This is the Toon Review. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Paul, back again, and uh, basically I uh, went to see Gateshead today, um, as there was no other games on, you you know, you, you go and watch your local North East teams, and um, it was really good, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it today, it was a good game, uh, obviously finished 2-1 to Gateshead, uh, with a, a, an injury time winner, which was just fantastic, uh, the game was um, very much Alfreton's in the first half, um, Gateshead were very, very lacklustre, I thought, in the first half, and let Alfreton Town have a lot of chances, uh, which they took one in the first half to take the lead. Um, and after that, it was all about Alfred and trying to hold on. Um, the play acting was unbelievable, I have to say. For, for a non-league side, um, every tackle that was made, they were going down injured, bringing the uh, physio on literally every couple of minutes. And it, it was a, beyond a joke. Uh, the goalkeeper for Alfred and as well, taking forever with his goal kicks. Uh, I can understand when you're away from home and, you know, you, you're a goal up, you do sort of waste as much time as you can. You get the clock to, to run down. Um, but that was absolutely farcical in that, uh, in mainly the first half. Um, second half, Gateshead came out a lot different side. Um, very, very good passing, one-touch football. So much better than the first half. But um, Alfred almost had a chance to make it 2-0. Uh, beautiful ball floated across. Diving header. Put it back to where the keeper had come from. Uh, but instead, it went past the post instead of into the net. And uh, lo and behold, what does happen? Gateshead go down the other end. Uh, a ball played across. The keeper spills it. And uh, it's 1-1. Uh, now, you know, it happened to Gateshead in the first half. They should have taken the lead um, from across that came in. Simple tap in. And he miskicked it. Um, and Alfred can go down the other end and score a goal. So it was just ro roles reversed in the second half, and it looked like the game was going to peter out into a draw, uh, but luckily for Gateshead, um, a drive and run from the midfield, and uh, I have to say, you know, the, the shot was uh, was not the hardest shot I've ever seen in the world. I don't know where the Alfred and keeper was going, um, completely got his angles wrong, and it went into the back of the net, and Gateshead win the game 2-1. Um but for me, it was all about uh, the the atmosphere today, the, the non-league atmosphere. I think there was over a thousand there today, uh, chanting, singing. It was it was brilliant. And, you know, that's what non-league is all about. You know, when your big teams aren't playing and you want to go and watch um, some football, go and take in your local northeast because it is fantastic. You know, the, the level of football is far better than I think anybody realises. You know, you go and watch uh, the big teams in the Premier League and sometimes the football isn't great to watch, uh, especially being a Newcastle United fan this season. It hasn't been great. Um, but you go down to the non-league levels and you see real commitment, real passion and real good football. The standard is very, very good. And Gateshead today in the second half played some lovely one-touch football um, that would grace any league as far as I'm concerned. It was great to watch. You know, laying it off, passing, moving. It was just all that you'd want to see in a football game. Uh, and it was great to see families there, you know, young kids. And, um, you know, you had the, the diehard Gateshead fans at the back of the stadium stand, you know, banging on the stand and singing and chanting. And it was a fantastic atmosphere. Um, considering, you know, when you go to Gateshead, there's only one stand open, uh, which is the main stand. Uh, which houses a couple of thousand people, and it, it, it's really good, you know, and then you've got the visiting fans, there was plenty there from Alfredton today, uh, who'd made the long journey up to the north, so, you know, it, it had that family aspect of it as well, that family atmosphere, um, you know, and you've you, you got your usual um, fans chanting, and, you know, having to go at the opposition players when they were play acting and things like that, which was clearly going on throughout the game, um, but it, it just made my eyes open a little bit more to to go and, you know, support non-league a lot more. Um, because, you know, these clubs have suffered more than anyone else due to the COVID issues and things like that. They need all the money they can get. And, you know, to get a good crowd in like that today was fantastic for Gateshead. You know, they go away to Altingham on Tuesday in the, um, in the replay in the FA Cup uh, with a fantastic opportunity of a home draw against Charlton, which will be televised. If they can get past Altrincham, it's a wonderful opportunity for Gateshead to make a lot of money off that as well. 
So, you know, doors are starting to open for Gateshead. I think Mike Williamson is doing a fantastic job there. He's, he's worked really hard. There's some very, very good players, I have to say. Uh, Adam Campbell stood out for me today. Uh, Langstaff, the, the kid on the right-hand side, very, very good player. Got man of the match. Uh, good pace, good crosser of the ball. Um, but when you think it's not happening for Gateshead in that first half, they turn it around in the second. Uh, very strange how football works sometimes. I think Alfreton will be very, very disappointed that they're going home with nothing, considering the position they were in midway through the second half. Um, it didn't look as if Gateshead were going to get into the game, even though it was a, certainly a much better performance than the first. But it was it was brilliant to watch. You know, great atmosphere before the game. Um, you know, went to the games with uh, with Peter. You know, Adam Pearson, Sharky. It was just great. And and um, thank you to everybody that came along and said hello. Um, obviously, from from watching the channel and watching Newcastle United, so it was great to see everybody there as well. Um, but yeah, a big shout out to non-league football. I think a lot more fans need to start taking in these non-league sides when you know either international breaks are on or the big teams are away from home uh, and you're not going to the away game. You know, go and watch a, a non-league side because I tell you what, they deserve the the support, they deserve the money because they don't have to put some effort in. And it's a great little atmosphere. It's a great family atmosphere. And it, for me, it was it was brilliant day out today. So um, thank you very much to Gateshead. Uh, and well done on the three points today. Um, Gateshead 2, Alfred and 1. Moving up the table. Games in hand as well. It's all starting to look very rosy for Gateshead. And really good luck to them on Tuesday night at Altrincham in the FA Cup replay. It'd be fantastic to see them get into the second round and uh, take on Charlton, which will be also live on TV. But I'll be definitely going to that game. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt so uh big up to gateshead thank you very much for the day and uh thank you very much for watching the video if you have enjoyed it i know it's not about newcastle united um but i just thought i'd give gateshead a big shout out today because it was it was brilliant excellent day uh brilliant win uh, and a lot of excitement so if you have enjoyed the video please do hit the like button uh, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see uh, please don't forget to consider subscribing over five and a half thousand now heading towards six so thank you very much for that uh enjoy the rest of your weekend guys take care